troops from 7th Armour Brigade have been slowly returning home to their base in Bergen-Hona garrison. They've been supporting 3 Commando Brigade on Herrick 14 and although there are still some soldiers waiting to return to Germany, our reporter Annie Hersein caught up with the 9th 12th Royal Lancers to talk about their recent tour. The 9th 12th Royal Lancers, like many of the other Germany-based troops supporting 3 Commander Brigade on Herrick 14, have been tasked with a variety of jobs including patrolling, mentoring and forming specialised response teams. It was a new challenge that every Lancer was keen to take on. It is their first time in Afghanistan and I think there's so much you can learn from Iraq, but this is a very different environment. Um, the mission is different, the threats are different. Um, and clearly we tragically lost Lance Corporal Paul Watkins and had two um, soldiers who were badly injured. Um, but it was sort of the development that we've seen in some of the younger troopers has been extraordinary. I mean, these guys are now very, very capable individuals uh, who have learned um, so much that it's going to be really good going forward now to uh, the next deployment, indeed, uh, in a couple of years' time. Meanwhile, in Hona, the Rear Operations Group and Welfare Team ensured regimental and family life went on as normal. Their performance at home, and especially away, has proved the Lancers' ability to adapt to any situation. I've been astounded with what they've achieved. You know, they've played hardball alongside some of the best troops uh, in the, uh, the, the, sort of the UK's army, if you like, with uh, 3 Commander Brigade, uh, and they have keep, kept pace with them. Uh, definitely. Uh, and they have committed themselves um, extremely well in some very tough um, environments. And I, I'm, I'm just delighted that, you know, that we've come back uh, with such a, a good result. B Squadron supported the Brigade Reconnaissance Force. Each six-man team was on standby to deploy to trouble spots and perform specialised tasks such as compound raids on suspected drug and IED factories. But it was the interaction with the surrounding villagers that literally made a life or death difference. If we've got the population on site, it makes our life a lot easier. They point out where IEDs are in the ground. They point out where the Taliban are and what they're planning on doing. So it makes our life easier. It makes their life easier when the Taliban are away. So all round is quite a good uh, feeling from the uh, locals. I re reckon we've made uh, a significant difference hearing from previous tours and obviously the statistics that we got on this tour alone has been the uh, most successful uh, brigade reconnaissance force to date. Proving that the Lancers' hard work and training has paid off and resulted in a more peaceful Afghanistan. Annie Hairsign, Forces News, Hona.